right i want to show you how you can create this glass bottle it is very simple as you can see it has a flower texture on the glass so let's make this glass i will add a circle and i will move it to the side like this and then we can scale it down in edit mode select vertices or edges then press e press c or z move it up and then just uh, fix the size and shape you want to have if you want to you can also add a loop cut Control r and change this size and for the bottom i will extrude it down a little bit like that and then if you press alt left click you can select them like this and then you can fix with the shape by pressing s so when you're finished with the shape of your glass be sure to be in x-ray mode then select the vertices or edges down here by pressing alt and left click then press f then we want to press a and then e and s to scale it in like this and then we can select the edges up here by pressing alt and left click and then select the vertices and then press g z shift tab and hover over this edge so when you're done you should have a glass that has a shape like this and to make a glass look more realistic we want the glass to have a thicker base and thinner edges if you think your mesh looks weird we can go here and check face orientation and if anything is red like uh, I select this one for example and press alt n and flip you see it's red which means it's flipped normals or flipped faces so you just press alt n flip and then when it's blue it's perfect then we can also right click and shade out the smooth and up here we want to press ctrl r and then left click right click and then we want to move it up by pressing ctrl z or c and then we can bevel it by ctrl b like this now we just need to add a glass texture and we can name it glass for youtube all right and then we will turn down the roughness turn up the transmission and here because we want to have a flower you need to go into google images or pinterest or whatever find a picture that is black and white only and then in here we want to add a texture image texture like this and then you select your image and then vector we want to have texture coordinate on uv and in here between we want a mapping like this and we won't see anything here it's because we're in the wrong shader so if we go on the most farther to the right we will first be in ev like this like this but we want to go to cycles and in cycles to make it easier for your computer you can select gpu compute if you cannot select gpu compute go to preferences and then and then system and then choose your gpu then the noise threshold we can unselect or select doesn't matter have few samples go on to the noise and select choose gpu so now your viewport will be very smooth and if you also want to have it like me you can press ctrl b in object mode and then left drag click to only render a specific part of your screen then we can add a subdivision surface modifier and you will see right now it looks very weird and very odd and that is because we need to add a few loop cuts so if you press ctrl r move it up like this we can do it on the inside too if you want to and then the bottom face down here we just press i 
on select to move it in we can press ctrl r here like this we obviously have to do the same on this here select the face press i to insert we can do it two times so and then you see i have the render on two so if we press two the render will look like this so now to see what we have changed we can go to this view and we want to move this one in the shader to normal and in between here we need a bump like this and we want to set it to height and right now we won't really see anything you can see something if you're lucky but what we need to do is we need to go into edit mode and then press alt left click to select these faces in the middle like this then press and here we can choose cylinder projection then we go into this tab here and uv editor so now it looks like this what we can do is we can press a and press s to scale it up also press g and y or x to move it in the axis and now you saw i it looks like this and my glass have some flowers like this you see it easier i have a hdri we can also add that if you want to so if we go to the shader editor again and then here and then world you can add an image texture and then mapping and texture coordinate again and the hdris you can find on polyheaven or some other sites just search for hdri on google and you will find sites for that and then to see what actually is going on because if we change this we can see that there happens some changes in the texture but we don't really have any control over how this changes so in between these two bump and the texture we want to add a color ramp like this so if we zoom in and change the control b thing like this we can see that the edges are very very rough so we what we can do is we can turn the, down this white thing and immediately you see that edges disappear we can turn down this a little bit more and then we can also turn up this black here but not too much because if you see like if we turn it like this on max we see that the middle is rough but if we turn this to the side the middle disappears from my image maybe your image behaves differently then you might need to select this black thing and move it down but for me i turn down this white thing and it works pretty good and then with the strength also you see it's very very strong we can obviously the distance is on one by default so we can turn down the strength and then also distance and if you're holding shift while shifting it will be very very small changes or you can just press and click what values you want and now if you want to render this and make it look pretty and good we can do it like this so we just add a plane I, I can show you on this side we add a plane i will obviously move to the side and then in edit mode on this plane we can press uh, select the edges and press this side then g y move it back then e z move it up and then we can select this edge and press ctrl b and then scroll your mouse wheel a few times and then because of these rough edges we can press right click and shade out to smooth and then you just need to press s and then x to scale it like this and then if you want to you can add a light like a point light we can obviously move it to the side and move it up and you can have it either straight above or little to the side like this 
So now when we go into the shader viewport, we can see here that this is the light. And if we unselect it, it looks like this. It looks quite flat. But if we add in this light, it looks just a little bit better. And obviously you can change where the light is coming from. But I like how it's going in the glass. One thing you notice here, the glass bottle is in the like back plane. So if we go to this and choose faces or face selection, we can press on the glass and then G, Z, Shift tab to snap it onto this plane. So that's about it. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more of this, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.